Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this easy Valentine's Day gel polish design. I'm working on my Glamourless practice hand which I do have a discount code that I will leave below for you guys. I'm then going to be using these two colours from Kiki London as well as this red glitter gel from Your Sugar. Now this design is super easy however I still wanted to share it with you guys as part of my Valentine series. I'm going to come in on the pointer and little finger and do a thin first layer of the red. This particular red is called Wild Heat and it is perfect for a Valentine's Day. It's your classic red gel polish and a must have in any Nautex kit. So for the first coat I apply a nice thin layer getting as close to the cuticle as I can without touching it and trying to get that cuticle area as neat as I possibly can. I do like the Kiki London brushes for this. I find that they fan out quite nicely and make getting a nice cuticle area effortless. I'm then going to come in with the Kiki London French white and apply that to the middle finger. And I keep my first layer as thin as I possibly can and build up the coverage more with the second coat. I do find with all the Kiki London colours that I've tried, you definitely only need two coats for full on opaque coverage. And once I've applied these, I do pop them in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. I'm then coming in with the Your Sugar Glitter Gel Polish and I brushed this on but noticed it just pulled most of the glitter off. So I come in again and just floated it on but this is still the first layer. I then also popped this into Cure for 60 seconds. Now for this video I only showed you guys applying the first layer of gel polish because I just wanted to keep this a short, quick and easy video. However, I hopefully will have some more gel polish designs coming up soon that will be a little bit more in depth. And then this is going to be the Valentine's Born Pretty plate that I'm going to be using for all of the stamping today. As you can see, it's perfect for Valentine's, but it is one that I reach for throughout the year. Now this is what the nails looked like once they'd had that second layer and cured. I'm then going to come in and remove the tacky inhibition layer with some gel polish wipe off solution just so that I'm working on a tack free surface. And I'm, today I'm using the Nicole Diary White Stamping Polish and my Beauty Big Bang Stamper. I recently purchased this stamper and I have to say I'm really, really pleased with it. For the price, it picked up perfectly, just has made stamping absolutely effortless. So I'm just going to stamp on a couple of hearts onto the pointer and little finger. And then using my Nicole Diary Black Stamping Polish, I'm going to stamp on a rose onto the ring finger. As you can see, the rose and the stem come as separate images on the plate. So this is great if you want to do them in different colours. There's also a few layering options on this plate as well, which I really want to play around with and try out. I'm then applying one of these Valentine stickers. These particular ones are from Charlie's Nail Art. I did recently do a haul video which showed you the whole pack of stickers. So I'll try and leave that linked somewhere for you guys to check out. Now because I've done a stamping and there's the nail art sticker, I will double top coat these nails. So I'm coming in first of all with the first coat and I like to apply this quite thin and then only cure it for half the amount of time. So I will apply a nice thin but even layer of top coat and then cure it for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. This means it's not fully cured so still has a little bit of tack to it even though it's a no wipe top coat. And then that means when I apply my second layer of top coat, it has something to grab onto. I just find that if I double top coat stamping and nail art stickers, it will help them last the duration of the set, especially if I was wearing these on myself. So I've applied that first top coat and like I said, I pop this into cure for 30 seconds. And I'm then going to come in with the second layer of top coat and apply a nice even layer to all of the nails. And then I'll pop this in my LED lamp to cure for a full 60 seconds. 
and then guys that is the end of the design like i said this is a really simple and easy set to do however i hope you all still enjoyed watching if you did then please give the video a thumbs up or let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you're watching and you're not already subscribed please consider hitting subscribe so that you never miss out on an upload i shall see you all again very very soon with my next valentine's design thanks for watching bye bye